Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for August Faves and Fails. I'll begin with the fails as I usually do and the first fail I want to talk about is my nails. They are so brittle and breaking. I talked about it in a vlog and I kind of showed you. I mean this nail, it's broken. It's like broken as broken can be and it just keeps wanting to break and split and it's agony. So annoying. I need to get myself another hair and nails supplement because they really do make a difference and I haven't been taking one and now I'm feeling the difference. Um, especially now that I'm doing DIY and starting to do some gardening again and grubbing about, I need my nails to withstand the rigors and they're just not. The second fail is a product and you can hear it rattling on my lap. It is ceiling paint. Great label there, you can see everything about it. Anyway, it's called Dulux Nevermiss One Coat Ceiling Paint. Now, if you watch our vlogs, you'll know exactly why I hate this product. We primed the ceiling. We had the ceiling in the guest house stopped, so like mudded and like finished off properly. And then we needed to paint it. So we painted the sealant on like the primer, which is pure brilliant white, and then started painting with this stuff. And it goes on, it's called Never Miss because it goes on pink and dries white. You can see there on the tin, applies pink, dries white. This does not dry white. It dries off white, which is so super annoying, especially when you have white furniture and white trim and other things in the room are white. It's quite obvious that it's like a yellowish white. I love Dulux. Dulux is my preferred brand of paint. I always use Dulux if I can. But this one just really let me down and I will not be repurchasing and I would not recommend it at all. If you actually want a white ceiling, don't use this paint because it's not white. Okay, moving on to favorites. I will link here to my vlog in which we went to Genghis Mongolian barbecue. It was amazing. We totally loved it. If you go before seven, it is cheaper, which we didn't realize, but we went early anyway because we tend to eat dinner early. It is so good. There is such a huge range of food. There's something for everybody. So for picky Noah, there were chips and chicken nuggets and boring things like that. And then for Grant and Daniel, there was seafood and meat and vegetables and all kinds of things that they want, noodles, whatever. And then for me, when I have so many restrictions and allergies and things, I could put together a meal as well. So basically you walk along, you choose whatever vegetables you want. You choose, like you have a bowl, you fill it to the top with vegetables, um, all different kinds of meat. There's marinated meat, there's just raw meat on its own, seafood, um, anything you can imagine, like in the way of fresh produce and meat. And then you can go and put on some sauces. So they do have pre-mixed sauces like teriyaki and sweet and sour, but then there's all different kinds of oils and like infused oils and vinegars and that kind of thing. And you put that on and then you take it to the chefs and they mix it for you on like the barbecue. They have like a hot plate. It's really cool. I'll link the vlog. Go and have a look and you can see exactly how it's done. It was amazing. It's all you can eat. So you can go back as many times as you want and put together as many different combinations as you like. And then they also have ice cream and pancakes. Now I can't eat pancakes. Noah had a few and the smell of these pancakes... They just smelled so delicious and he said they were the best pancakes ever. So highly recommend Genghis. We really enjoyed that. That's in New Plymouth and as always I will link everything down below. Keeping on the food theme, another favorite was this ice cream that I found. It's actually sitting here like defrosting so I should go put it back in the freezer. This is what it looks like. Little Island. They have chocolate, vanilla bean and caramel and it is dairy free ice cream. The ingredients are coconut cream, water, organic sugar, organic glucose syrup, organic maltodextrin, vanilla extract stabilizer, which is organic carabine gum and organic guar gum. And as an emulsifier, it is sunflower lecithin with salt and vanilla bean seeds. Obviously not like the most clean eating, but if you're gonna have ice cream and it's gonna be a processed product, I think this isn't too bad. Of course it has sugar in, so I'm not gonna eat it all of the time, but considering I haven't been able to eat ice cream in over two years and I sit there like a sad sack while everyone's tucking into their delicious desserts that I've made for them and I've got nothing, 
it was nice to be able to enjoy a bit of ice cream once this month. I've only have it, had it once so far, but it was delicious. Um, initially, there was quite a coconut flavor. Obviously, it's coconut ice cream, but as I ate it, and I didn't have a lot, but as I ate it, the vanilla bean really came through. So I do want to try the other flavors. It's just something nice to have as a treat, maybe once a month or once every couple of months, because I don't eat sugar generally, but yeah. As a treat, this was delicious. It was about $7, so it's not cheap because this is 475 more. So I guess like a Ben and Jerry size, but because I don't eat much at a time, like I've had it once and like that's how much I had, um, this will probably last me a while. Okay, moving away from food, I'll just reach for the next thing, toothbrushes. Jess did a video a while ago where she shared her favorites and she shared her Pam's toothbrush because oh, we're always talking about this why do they make candles and hand soaps and toothbrushes and things that are going to sit in your home in like lurid primary colors like oh yes it's lime scented soap but does it need to be lime green who decorates with lime green so they've got this obnoxious lime green hand soap on your counter same with the toothbrushes especially if you want a different color for each member of your family super annoying we keep our toothbrushes in the drawer but i still i don't know i appreciate good design and i don't necessarily want a primary colored toothbrush so these are the toothbrushes she found super inexpensive they're from pack and save it's the pam's brand and how pretty is that this one i've actually put into my travel bag because i found really bird control yourself i found even prettier toothbrushes Ah, you know me and gray at the moment this is the mclean's and this was also from pack and save they are slightly more expensive and then the heads are different colors like you can get orange and lime green and whatever but how pretty is that i just i just appreciate that my toothbrush is gray so i wanted to share that with you reaching over for the next thing is this little tassel that i bought this is made by my friend Nick. She has a website called A Dozen Ideas and she does um, necklaces and all kinds of things. But I wanted a tassel so I can clip it on my keys, I can clip it on my handbag or my camera bag or even onto my camera. Like I just think it's so cute and it's it feels nice, like it's nicely made. So it has a black like suede tassel, there's a little crystal. There's an arrow with a charm and there's a lotus flower and a little bit of rose quartz. And you know, I'm into rose quartz. So I love this and I'm enjoying having it on my bag. It's just a little bit of an extra decorative touch, but it's not like big and obnoxious. And I will link down below to her website. Go and check it out. She has the most gorgeous necklaces. They're in all different like, go, just go and have a look. Just go and have a look and treat yourself because they are beautifully made, beautifully packaged, and I'm really enjoying it. Okay, two YouTube channels that I've been enjoying. One is Chill Nation. We have a TV in the guest house now, and I put on music when I go in and clean because Pandora is no longer available. You know, like Pandora Radio, no longer available in New Zealand and Australia. Thanks, Pandora. Thanks for nothing. So that's kind of annoying because I used to just put music on there and then kind of clean or do my housework with that or a podcast um, but we have the TV now so I put YouTube on and I wanted music that wouldn't just stop after one song and have to constantly go and choose another song so I just typed mix into the search box and I found like a chill mix and it's actually really nice it's kind of it is chill and it is kind of relaxing but it's also got a bit, bit of a beat and gives you some energy and keeps you moving and kind of makes you want to dance. So I've really been enjoying that. It kind of is really fun to clean to. I will link that down below. And then the other channel that I've been enjoying is Shelly's Home Life, which I'm so sorry, I can't remember which viewer recommended that I go check her videos out, but thank you because I've really been enjoying her videos and her book reviews. Um, I watched her latest book review and put books onto my to read list and then I went back and watched a previous one I did find that I wanted to kind of skip forward because I am like the queen of no spoilers I don't even want to know the outline of the story I just want to discover it for myself so I was like skipping through that video but I did actually put some of her books from that video as well into my to read list so I've enjoyed her vlogs I've enjoyed 
I haven't watched all of her videos, but what I've seen, I've liked. So go and check out Shelly's Home Life. Again, everything linked down below. And thank you to whoever suggested that to me. And then the last favorite for the month of August has to be my Rosie's overalls. I know you're sick of hearing about them, not being paid to talk about them. I was literally just sent them to see what I thought and I freaking love them. I will link here to the full review video I did on these overalls. But if you missed that, this is what they look like. These are grubby because I've been wearing them like all the time. <laughs> um, they're adorable. I'm not going to go into all the features because I covered them in my review video. So do go and check that out if you want to know how completely awesome they are. I've been using them for gardening because of course spring is coming and I've started my seeds and I've started doing things out in the garden and I love that they're just comfy and I can kind of just put them over my t-shirt that I have been wearing not have to like fully change my outfit because as you can see it catches all the grub on the front there so kind of acts like an apron and then obviously I've been using them for DIY as well as you know I have finally made my plank wall or my like shiplap wall in the hallway it's turned out amazing i'm so proud of myself and i'm so glad that i finally did it but that was like three days of putting it in and painting it well actually it was a full week of it but i was like kneeling on the floor screwing these planks onto the wall and it was so nice just to have the built-in knee pads that i could get up get down and not have to like hammer my knees on the floor and not have to like drag a kneeling pad around with me so loving my overalls i'm wearing them all the time as you can see i haven't even like washed them between wears i do have two pairs but i don't wash them every time i use them because yes it's got some soil on next time i use them they're going to get some soil on so it's like not a big deal so those are my favorites and fails for the month of august i hope you've enjoyed this give us a thumbs up if you did and please consider subscribing if you haven't already thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one